When you gonna take me to that fine country club you at? Looking like that? What are you talking about looking like that? I don't think you're country club material, son. You did. Oh. They got a dress code up there, son. Look at you. You look like they let Charles Manson out and he went hunting. And I'm looking at him, and all I see is the same beard, the same hair. The only difference is he's 50 pounds heavier. I'll tell you what. I'll go out there and play you $50 a hole, Mr. Country Club material. I've seen you play. You're not good. I guarantee you I can hit the ball as good as you out there. Huh. I can't do it today. I got career day out to school. Really? I got to go tell the kids how to be successful. Why don't you let Cy and Phil do it? I mean, I told Corey I was going. What about $100 a hole? $100 a hole? I don't know if I can pass that up. Jason and I are the most competitive guys ever. If you can race it, run it, try to win it, try to eat it, we're going to be competing. Hey, Phil and Si. Yeah. Y'all go do career day? No. No, we're going duck hunting this evening. It's in the afternoon. You got plenty of time. 30 minutes, in and out. We can do that. Thank you. All right, big boy. Go to the ATM machine. Make it hundreds. Bingo. I am ready to play some sophisticated golf. Mm hmm 100 bucks a hole. You sure you want to do this? Oh, my goodness. I'll take it. All right, we're off. Thinking about what I'm going to do with that $100 a hole. OK. Hey! It's a little right. He just thinks showing up. Oh, he's got this one. Then he looks up, before you know it. He's digging into his wallet. Let's make it 50 a hole. Just no, for the win. Come on, we made the bet. Man. Can't play with the wind blowing like this. Yeah, Please, going... I can't concentrate on the ball. Nope, that's not going in. It's birdie putt. No, I had to check the wind. Woo! When you're on, you're on. And today, I'm on. Where's my hundred off? I mean, anybody can get lucky once. Thought this would be easy money. Looking good for old Jace. You sure you ain't been practicing? I've been practicing in my mind. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah. Oh, crap. Woo! Thank you. Willie's money is sweeter than any other money I know of. Woo! Woo! Has a certain aroma to it. Ah! Oh. No, it's, it's gone. There's a lot of frogs swimming around your ball, Willie. I have found the frog heaven. When you have eaten as many frogs as I have, all you want to do is just eat more of them. There's very few things that turn me on in life. That turns me on. I always a knucklehead will hurry up and show up. Sorry, si, you're a little cranky this morning. Hey, look, I always get cranky when I'm hungry. What's that racket over there? I don't know. That's that idiot. That is that idiot. He finally showed up. Somebody got a new toy. Wide four-wheeler. That is a big one. Gentlemen! What's he doing? I have no idea what he's doing. Mm. We came here early for this. Yeah. This is the ultimate redneck chariot. Why are you on that side of the pond? I'm glad you asked. Hey, you done lost your mind. You want some motivation? <laughs> I'll give you some motivation. I don't get it. Do what? Oh, 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 oh. He think to thank that joker. Yeah, yeah. Hey, right. he's going down, boy. Look, Willie went for manipulation. <laughs> I went for manovation. It's like a boat with wheels. It's motivation provided for men. Oh. Actually, looks kind of fun, to be honest with you. Consider yourselves manovated. Hey, 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 h
This is way better. And it'll make you feel like a man. I'm a man. You're halfway there, Jim. So you bought it? I did. Well, good for you. Good for us. Us? This is for people in the duck call shop only. Oh, man. Well, I like what I'm at. talking about. You follow me? <laughs> Take me for a spin in this puppy. Huh? Come on. Well, I'm talking about. All right. Take Let's go see what this thing will do. Right. Lucky dog. Uh -huh. I need a man. Oh, here you go. Hey, let's go do some second duck calls. Crap. Let's I get some breakfast first. Uh, yeah. I mean, breakfast it is. Si still ain't getting no breakfast. <laughs> yeah, he gone. Hey, I am hungry, though. All right, gentlemen, I think you know why we're all here. Why are we here? We're modifying this mower, you idiot. I told y'all. Hmm. Well, how you do that? We're going to beef it up. It's beefed up. You're sitting on it. Do y'all want to make duck calls? Is that what you want to do? No, I don't want to no, make duck calls. No, no, I like a project. Let's go with it. I'm going to take this regular, ordinary lawnmower and turn it into a super beast racing machine. I've done a little research. This is what I want this looking like. Good. Well, hey, you got a picture of it. Why don't we get that one? That belongs to Philip McMillan. That's some pretty good research here. Got off the internet. It was on his status update. So you're friends with him <laughs> on the internet? Not me, but another name. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. There you go now. Take on. You get a redneck working on a mower, you're going to get something awesome. You put five rednecks on a mower, you're going to get something epic. How else can we drop weight? Although you are really not good at dropping weight. Stop. What are you doing? It's all about physics and our dynamics. Just trying to do my part, boys. These boys don't know nothing. And I, I don't know nothing, and I'm the best one there is around this bunch. What are, what are we doing? You said tear it apart, so we're tearing it apart. That doesn't look like the picture. Well, we should have got Red up here. He builds racing lawnmower. He does what? Jimmy Red builds racing lawnmowers? Yep. What? Hey, Goblin, I know you're not the smartest pickle in the barrel, but don't you think that would have been pertinent information before we got ourselves in this mess? Does it go fast? Yeah, it goes fast, about 80. Why didn't you open your mouth? I ain't gonna build no duck calls. <laughs> I hope Jimmy Red's mower's a whole lot faster than this one, because we ain't losing the Philip McMillan. Here's what we do. We're gonna put all this back together. We're taking it back. Good luck with that. Hey, we'll do this tomorrow. Ain't that We're racing deal. tomorrow. Hey, we can do it in the morning. I'm serious. Hey. Good luck taking that back. There we go. Oh. Y'all push, I'm focusing. Focusing on what, not doing anything? This is it. This is the big time. We got Jimmy Red's mower and it looks fast as crap. Oh, here we go. Easy. Yeah, thanks for the help. There's no way we're losing. I'm gonna beat the crap out of Philip in this lawnmower race. Whoa. Uh, they got some serious machinery here, boys. I'm telling you one thing, they don't look like they're kidding around. How hard can it be? When I accepted Philip's challenge, I didn't realize that death could occur. Don't be a coward. We can do this. I'm not quitting, because I ain't a quitter. You only live once. That's what I'm afraid of. But I am a little concerned. What's the worst thing that can happen to you? I could freaking die. You me all right? Willie is not going to be OK. Let's go. Come on. Welcome to the Ike Hamilton Saturday Night Lawnmower Races. Are you ready to assume the role of CEO if something were to happen? Racers, start your mowers. We can do this. We can do it. You're going down, duck boy. No, I ain't. You're going down. On your mark, get set. Woo! 
Ryan's having trouble. He's getting left. Right. Oh. Oh, oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Yes, bad. I look at Willie, and all I'm getting from him is terror. He won't get off the inner track. He's driving eight miles an hour. He's scared to death. You're OK. You're OK. You're OK. These guys are fast, like supersonic fast. All I'm thinking about right now is don't die. Because if I die, in a weird way, Philip wins. Hey, look at McMillan. Looks like Philip McMillan's having engine troubles. I see that Philip's in trouble. I'm thinking, you know what? We can't win the war, but we can win this battle. Willie can take it. Philip McMillan bringing up the rear. Forget winning the race. We just want to beat Philip. He's actually got a little speed builder down. Yeah! All you got to do is finish. <laughs> it's a nail fighter to see who can take last place. Why don't you go back and get you an undershirt? Better luck next time. Take them Crocs back to the old trailer house. All right, let's go get something to eat. <laughs> well, looky The here. little children. Mercy me, look at this. In our part of the woods down in here, you know, a rope on a tree hanging over water, everybody happy, happy, happy like that. Welcome to the party. Boiling hot. It doesn't take too much to keep redneck kids happy, which is a good thing, you know. You want to go to a water park? Yeah. What have y'all done? I'll give you a water park. It took hard work, but we've got a water slide, a water trampoline, a track hose swing, and a rope tow. We have constructed the greatest redneck water park ever. Welcome to our little oasis in the desert. And now that the family's arrived, there's only one thing left to do. <laughs> it worked. All right, it worked. Go! See, this is kind of like Moses leading his people through the desert. That's what you do when you're hot and parched. Go hey. for it, Kate. Go for it. Are you having fun? You lead the people to find relief. Whoa! There it is. <laughs> and a redneck's relief is fun. Are the kids having fun? The kids are having fun. Fun. It's fun. It really has turned it's nice. out fun. Yeah. Hey. That is so fun. That's it's exactly pretty. right. Exactly. Fun. It's fun. Well, look at who we have here. Oh, Willie, tons of fun. Come on, Willie. Let me a party paper. A little light on the fun, but heavy on the ton. Better hide your picnic baskets. This is what you miss work to do? Yeah. What do you think? Why don't you ever work like this at work? You're being a big party pooper. Nobody likes a party pooper. You're supposed to do this on weekends like normal people. I mean, I can't believe you don't like this. What'd y'all do to this truck? That's a redneck rope toe. Anybody tried it? No. Why don't you try? I ain't doing it. I ain't doing none of this. Huh? Why oh, can't you just relax and have a little fun like the rest of us? Hey, I can have fun. Prove it. Do the rope toe. You'll be the first one. Because I have to work. Uh, come on, have some fun. Weenie! If you don't do it, you ain't got a pair. Has nothing to do with my pair. 
there, son. Oh, yeah, son. This isn't high school, people. I don't buck under peer pressure. There is no way, no how, under any circumstances that I'm doing this. Woo! That's my man. All right, you ready? Hit it. Welcome to the party, Will. He went under the water a party pooper, and he came out vibrant. It's basically like a redneck baptism. Come on in, boys. The water is fine. Well, we know we've uh, been here. Uh, <laughs>